In Louisville, where police are investigating a deadly shooting at two locations, both off Highway 121, but on opposite sides of East Round Rove Grove. Let's get to Sydney Percy live on the scene. Sydney, what have you learned? Well, Chris, right now, investigators are still trying to find at least one person, possibly several people that were involved in the shooting. As you mentioned, there are two scenes involved. The first is right here where I'm standing. I'm in the parking lot behind Popeyes. This is where investigators say the shooting happened. You should be able to see the scene and the crime scene tape over my shoulder. Investigators say this shooting involved people, two groups of people in two different cars. They say they knew each other somehow. There was some kind of conflict, some kind of disagreement, and then shots were fired. And if you can see, there are several evidence markers. Police did not give me a number, but said several shots were fired. After that shooting, police say both cars sped off. We're going to pull up video for you now. Investigators say they were able to track down one of the cars at an apartment complex just about a quarter mile, maybe at most a half mile down the road from here. That is the Bridges of Oak Bend Apartments. That is where police say they located a black Porsche. Two men were inside. One man was dead. He was shot in the chest. The other was shot in the hand. That man is alive and at the hospital. Police actually tell me that they were able to find that car because one of those two victims in the car called 911. Again, police are searching for that second vehicle. They say it is a Chrysler, at least that's what they believe right now, but do not have a specific model yet to share. There are a lot of questions as we come back at the scene live right now. You can see police are still trying to gather evidence. They say right now they do not have a motive for the shooting. Again, just that there was some kind of altercation, still looking for the people in that other vehicle. And I do want to mention before we go outside of the Popeyes, there are two businesses here in the parking lot. I went into both of them. They both have surveillance cameras. They were not prepared to show their surveillance video with me, but from what I could tell, it is very likely that one or both of those businesses were able to capture the shooting. I can tell you police officers have gone inside both to try and recover any video to try and get a description of what those people look like and perhaps the make and model of that Chrysler. Uh, again, a very uh, fluid situation out here. Police are still investigating. We will bring you any information as we get it. Chris, Izzy.